Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another monthly favorites video and I have so many products this month that I'm gonna try to just speed through it as much as I can because we might just actually be here forever. So as usual, I have kind of the same categories. I've got jewelry, skincare, some beauty, some hair. I'm just looking around. I also have some shoes. I didn't do any clothing because I actually uploaded two hauls, my fall haul as well as my princess Polly haul. And both of them, I've already tried the items already. So those are actually already my favorites so if you guys are looking for any clothing recommendations check out those two videos there you guys can take a look so anyway without any further ado i'm gonna get started because like i said there are so many items this month So the very first item, I'm just going to start off with jewelry. The item this month is the Majuri Initial Necklace, but you guys already know that I have the initial necklace in the circular pendant. This time I actually got it in the diamond. And if you haven't already watched my Majuri Must Haves video, which I'll leave right here, they originally had this one in gold with just your initials, not engraved onto a pendant, but actually your initials. And I was mentioning how, you know, for the letter L for Lisa, I just don't love the letter L. so instead of getting L, I just got W for my last name. As you can see, I've stacked it with a couple of other items, but this is the W here. And I'm sorry if my neck's a little bit red. It's just so sensitive when I kind of like scratch against my neck. But this is what the pendant looks like, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's also in all diamonds, so this one is a little bit pricier. Both the initial and the chain is sold separately, but if you already have a chain from before, you guys can interchangeably use them. You can can also get another chain which is what I did because I wanted to stack it with my other initial necklace and also my boyfriend chain so with this necklace as usual it's solid gold so I never have to take it off I feel like I started off with the one pendant and now I have the boyfriend chain and now I have this initial necklace so I have three necklaces going on which honestly I guess it kind of is a lot like sometimes I don't like the look of it and sometimes it'll get tangled sometimes I'll take it off and just wear one but for the most part I just love being extra I just really like wearing all of them together. The other item that I got, I actually didn't get this recently, but I think I might have not mentioned it from before, is the midi hoops. And these are just solid gold hoops that are about this size. And I'm just going to show you. I stacked it with the bold hoops and this is what it looks like. And it's funny because before I didn't really wear the midi hoops that often just because the way that the hoops go is that you take it off and you have to kind of like put it through this hole. Oh my God, this is getting so dirty. But anyway, that's not how I was thinking about it, but you have to put it through the hole, which takes a lot of time. So I used to always take it off and put it back on and I never wear it 24 seven because I kind of assumed that it would be either dangerous or like not safe or something to like wear it all the time. However, I forgot to take it off one night and it was fine when I slept on it and when I showered with it. So now it's just permanently on my ear because it's just like hard to take off and on and it hasn't even deformed its shape. I really like it. I think it looks really great with the bold hoops as well. I've moved the bold hoops up and now I have these hoop situations going on and I absolutely love it. That's pretty much the jewelry recommendation of the month. So now moving on to beauty. The beauty recommendations that I have, the first one is the whole set of the Ghislaine line, which is the Abbe Royale. So this is the cleansing oil. There's also the lotion slash toner, if you will. This is what it looks like. And this is what the serum looks like. And finally, you have the face oil, which is probably my favorite because if you shake this up you can actually see all the gold particles in between it's just absolutely gorgeous so the reason why I wanted to mention this line is because number one it's anti-aging number two they're using honey from this very special and specific part of the world that's literally just preserved for this brand the bees and the honey are all sustainably sourced or sorry the honey is sustainably sourced and they have this agreement with this very special part of the land so this is a really high 
high quality product which obviously is reflected in the price because this line is very expensive the good thing about it is that there are antioxidants the honey is anti-inflammatory it's just great for your skin if you guys are looking for an anti-aging product or if you're looking for something like really fancy I just feel like this really clarifies your skin this month I've been using it and honestly I just really love it I feel like with facial oils also people think that you know you shouldn't use it that often or like it might make your face oily but I actually use this morning and night if you guys can tell I've been using it all month both morning and night I put it underneath my makeup and it works really really great in fact one of the items of this line that has actually made it to another video of mine which you might have already seen is their cleansing oil so the cleansing oil even though it is a little bit on the pricier side it has made it to one of my top and favorite cleansing oils if you haven't checked out that video go check it out now I do an extensive review on cleansing oils and I even break down the price and stuff like that this is one of the top ones that I've broken down but I just absolutely love this line and also this brand because I've attended a lot of their you know info sessions really learned a lot from this brand and one of the things that I've learned about them is that they really really care about you know protecting your skin from things like blue light just from the pollution from the world like the environmental stressors like dust even screen time and stuff so all of their skincare have these properties and I've actually reviewed one of their foundations as well which incorporates this type of mentality which is one of their foundations slash skincares so if you haven't already check out that video for the foundation review but overall this brand is one of my favorite brands because of their whole skincare where their ingredients are sourced I just absolutely love it so if you guys haven't checked it out I highly recommend checking them out and I just absolutely love this line the next set of skincare products that I want to talk about are two eye products and it's funny because these two eye products almost did not make it into this video because I was using it for a while and maybe it's like an anti-aging thing and maybe I won't see the results immediately however I was really really looking for a eye product that was going to help with my bags and like I said if you guys don't already know for all of these products I really do try to review it for a Full month and I try to use these products night and day so I give a very good extensive review I have done that for this product okay and I would say that on the third week I almost gave up on the product because I was like I don't know if I see any results However, one of the issues that I have with my under eyes is that I have like a double crease thing going right here. Like, I don't know if anyone sees it right now, but like I usually have this double crease thing going and it's one of my biggest insecurities on my face. In fact, I think I might one day consider getting eye fillers because every time I smile, it just like has two double lines and I just feel so self-conscious about it. I've been looking for eye products before the filler idea came to mind that hopefully can mitigate this problem anyway so I was trying to use these two products the first one is the Lancome Advanced Genifique and this is the eye serum so if you guys don't know I actually love the Advanced Genifique line so I have the serum for face this time I tried it for eye and I really had high hopes which initially kind of disappointed me and then I realized after using it for a full month because I filmed this video a week later I actually did notice that the puffiness did definitely go down once again I think with skin Care, you do need to stick with it a little bit longer before you can see the results but I almost gave up on this product I'm telling you this one took a little bit longer and I actually don't know if it's because when I put on the face lotion I like put everything here and then I also put on the eye so maybe I need to try when there's like absolutely no product and then just putting this and then the eye cream but anyway I digress the reason why I really like this eye serum is the applicator the applicator has this silver thing which is amazing because it's especially in the mornings, it will immediately depuff your eye. The tip of this is already having a cooling effect while you're applying it. It already kind of preps your eyes for depuffiness while it's putting on the serum. And then you can put on the eye cream after. This eye cream is actually my second bottle. I have used this before. Really the review here is more on the eye serum, but this eye cream is pretty great, I would say, and it's easy to put on. It's not too cakey and it's quite lotiony. It's honestly really lovely as a anti-aging eye cream. I definitely recommend checking both of these out and if you guys are gonna check this out please be patient with it because like I said I didn't even notice the results until I guess like three to four weeks in so make sure you are patient with it but the applicator is honestly genius for an eye cream. So anyway that was pretty much it for all of skincare. I have one and only beauty product for you guys this month the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. So this is what the setting spray looks like and by the way all of Charlotte 
Charlotte Tilbury's airbrush flawless line is to die for. Like you guys should try out, you know, their powder, amazing. Some of their other products are just really great. But this setting spray, guys, I'm telling you, has gone viral on TikTok. It has gone viral kind of over social media on how good it is. So I kind of got it just because I was like very curious as to whether or not it works. And let me tell you, it does work, okay? If you guys are looking for a setting spray, oh my god, this is so good. Also, I compared it with two other setting sprays that I have, which is the Urban Decay and the MAC one. The thing for me that makes the biggest difference is the spray itself. You know, I'm just going to spray it right now in front of you guys. First of all, for a setting spray, it smells amazing. Like compared to other setting sprays, this one smells really good. But also the spray actually sprays out like this. I just feel like some of the other sprays, like the MAC one, the setting spray for MAC itself, quality is good, but it's like when it comes out, it like shoots almost like directly into your eyeball or something. Like, I don't know what it is. But this one disperses so well. I just love the packaging of this and how it sprays on your skin. So if you guys are in search of a new setting spray, this one I highly, highly recommend. Okay, so that's pretty much it for skincare, beauty, etc. I'm gonna move on to hair now. So for hair, I am also loving the entire Kerastas line. So with the Kerastas products, if you guys follow me on social media, you might know that I have a partnership with them on Instagram. I'm also reviewing it on YouTube and they did not ask me to post on YouTube, so this portion is not sponsored. First of all, this line is marketed as a very luxury line of the Kerastas entire line. This is their Chronologie. It is comparable to, you know, like Chanel and like that level of hair care. So this is definitely the most expensive type of hairline that I have used, but I do want to review certain things from this line. Just an entire line as a whole, there are around five products. Pre-shampoo is this one. Shampoo, there's a heat protectant, there's a hair mask, and finally there's a hair oil. So overall as a line, the first thing that I would say, first of all, the smell is amazing. The quality is also very good for each of the products. The two things that I want to highlight from this line, if you were to kind of pick and choose, is number one, the hair oil. I think I mentioned this on Instagram already, but the hair oil, this is what it looks like, you guys. And I kid you not, it is the best smelling hair oil I have ever used. Like, I almost use this as a perfume. I guess this actually is marketed as a perfume, like a hair perfume, but in a form of oil. It smells so amazing. I feel like when I put this on, I do not need to use any perfume on my body because this already smells amazing as is. The second item that I want to highlight, which I believe I also highlighted on my Instagram, is their pre-shampoo. This is the first time in my life I have ever used something called a pre-shampoo. Honestly, when they sent this to me and when I was like trying to review this for you guys, I was like, what the heck is a pre-shampoo? I had to Google how to use it. And it turns out you go into the shower, you still wet your hair, but instead of putting on shampoo, you would put on the pre-shampoo first. And I think after using it, I think the best way that I would describe it is kind of like exfoliation for your scalp. Honestly, like after kind of realizing or kind of aligning this analogy, it got me to think like, you know, why didn't we exfoliate our scalp from before? Like, why do we always just use shampoo? Because we exfoliate our face, we exfoliate our body. How come no Nobody exfoliates their scalp. Well, maybe not nobody. I never did. After using this, it actually made me realize a few things. I'm just gonna call it exfoliating your scalp, but really it's called pre-shampooing. After exfoliating or using this pre-shampoo, I realized number one, I do feel cleaner like scalp wise. Number two, I feel like I get oily a lot less fast. It sustains the amount of time that my hair gets oily. If you guys have flatter hair or really straight hair, if you guys think that your hair gets oily really quickly, I highly recommend trying a pre-shampoo in general. If you guys are not sure which pre-shampoo to use. You guys can check out the Kerastas one. This is what the pre-shampoo looks like. This one in particular, I don't know about the other pre-shampoos, but this one uses charcoal as one of the ingredients. When you squeeze it on your hand, it's black. And then when you lather it, it's kind of like a dark gray. So don't be alarmed. This is just part of the ingredients, but I really, really recommend trying this because it actually really did clear and like exfoliate my scalp. I do feel a lot cleaner afterwards. So I highly recommend. The other products are great 
great as well. I'm going to be very honest with you. The one and only product I haven't tried is their heat protectant. And that's only because I haven't been putting heat on my hair. So that's why I haven't needed to use this product. But it does smell really good. I've smelt it. But I can't give a proper review on the item itself. Everything else I just think that is pretty standard. Once again, if I had to narrow down the products. Because this is such a luxury line. It would definitely be the hair oil and the pre-shampoo. But the other items are still really great to try out as well. The last item in terms of hair that I wanted to share is actually this Joyco Firm Hold of Mousse. So this is what the product looks like. This was actually recommended to me by one of my curly hair friends. So thank you, Noah. I've used it today. I find that with this one, I still use the curl cream that I have, but the mousse makes the curl a little bit more defined. I feel like it gives more of like a wetter look, if you will. And I guess that will depend on how much product you use. I actually like to put on a lot because I think that it dies throughout the day, but it does make the hair strands really, really, really defined and it does hold it for a lot longer. So if you guys are looking for a mousse, especially if you also have naturally curly or wavy hair, I highly recommend the Joyco one. You can buy this at any drugstore or pretty much any like shoppers, stuff like that. Okay, so the next item that I wanted to talk about is actually a home item. And this one is from Aesop and it's one of their new candles. I forgot the exact scent that I got. So I'm just gonna leave the name right here. But this one, oh my God, smells so good. I just never had an Aesop candle before and upon opening the package, I could already smell the product. It just has such an aesthetically pleasing look. Get it for decor, get it for smell, whatever it is. My mom absolutely loves candles. This one is such a luxury buy and also the packaging is just so beautiful and minimal. I think this is the aesthetic that I'm going for and I don't know if you can see, but this engraving that says Aesop right here, I feel like the light is kind of coming covering it. I don't know if you guys are able to see the Aesop engraving, but it says it right here. It is honestly just such a cute home decor piece and the smell is absolutely phenomenal. I feel like this is definitely such a treat for you or for your home if you guys are, you know, like a luxury candle collector. Like I've tried some of the Deep Teak ones, Jo Malone ones. This is definitely another luxury product, but it is so aesthetically pleasing and the smell is just so earthy and just very, very pleasing to your nose. It's just a very nice experience, but definitely a treat yourself type of product. Okay, so the last two products that I wanted to go through are two of my favorite shoes this season. So the first one are these boots here and I actually got this from H&M. I just really like this because number one, they're so comfortable and number two, they're pretty versatile. They're great for rain. When the snow comes, I'll still wear this because of how platform this is. And also down here, I just love how it kind of just sticks to anything. The price is also really fair. I believe it's $60, but the price is amazing as well for these boots. I've also hiked with it. So it's just because I went to Tofino and I forgot my runners so I had to hike with these boots but it ended up being fine so it's honestly such a trend this summer for these type of shoes and the H&M ones are honestly my favorite. I haven't seen it online anymore however I've been seeing it in store still so if you guys don't see it online then definitely check it out in store. There's still a ton in store. The last product I want to talk about are these boots here. These ones are by La Canadienne and this is a Montreal Canadian brand. Not only do these look amazing but but they're also very, very versatile. You guys have probably seen me wear this a ton on my Instagram already. This kind of like snake crocodile print leather is super in this year. And also this is just below the knee, which is another style of boot that I find that is extremely in right now. For these boots, the reason why they're really versatile is because La Canadienne has actually made these boots very weatherproof and water resistant. This is extremely great, especially if you live in places like Vancouver, or even if you live in Toronto and stuff, if you guys experience a lot of rain or just like even a little bit of snow I feel like these shoes can hold up really well so not only are they functional but they're also extremely fashionable I've shown this picture I feel like in my YouTube videos a ton of times but I always wore it with my Gucci tights and this is probably my favorite outfit of the entire season so those are the shoes that I've been wearing and they're called the Porsche I'll leave a link right here for you guys for you guys to check out and also I just love supporting local Canadian brands that's pretty much the video for today I hope you guys enjoyed 
enjoyed it for this month I know I had so many products this month So I'm really sorry if this video has gone a little bit over I am going back to Toronto next month So the background is gonna change back to my living room and the products that I'll be reviewing are gonna be things that are hopefully from my other home now so I'm really excited to share those with you and make sure you like this video if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel. That's pretty much it for today and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!